foxes, welcome to my channel. You guys never see anybody in my garage with me filming. <laughs> Say hi to Jacinda. Hi. Um, Jacinda is my cousin. She is an awesome makeup artist and she actually just started her YouTube channel. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of videos where you're teaching people how to do makeup on other people, right? Yes. Because there's a lot of people showing you how to do makeup on themselves, um, but she's gonna have people on her channel where she's gonna be doing makeup on different um, skin types, hooded eyes, uh, etc. right? Mm -hmm. She's awesome at makeup, look at her face. So I thought it'd be really fun if we had her on here to do a bridal look on me because I actually was asking you guys on, um, I'm pulling up a picture on my phone, I was, uh, I'm very disorganized. So on Twitter, I asked you guys what kind of videos you guys wanted to see and um, Cassie, uh, <laughs> Cassie likes cows on Twitter, said probably not enough requests for a video, but my unpopular request is that I'm in need of a long lasting, durable wedding makeup for next year. So today, JC's specialty is, I mean, she does everything awesome, but you do a lot of wedding makeup, right? Yes, we specialize in bridal. Awesome, and I have never done bridal makeup before. It's like, my, every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go really natural, I end up looking like a freaking drag queen, which I'm not, I'm not mad about it, but it doesn't really always work for the everyday bride. So today, she's gonna do my face uh, in bridal makeup. So you guys will get to see some tips and tricks on how to keep it long lasting. Um, and before we started, I washed my face, and I went in with the Dermalogica Intensive Moisture Balance um, to moisturize my skin. So all of that, like what you're gonna wanna use depends on your skin type. If you have oily skin, you're gonna wanna use a water-based moisturizer, but don't skip moisturizer. Super important for keeping your makeup on and also starting with a clean, clean face. Some important things also are primers and setting, um, setting sprays. And Jacinda will talk a little bit more about that. But uh, you, you ready to get this show on the road? Yes. I have my kitchen chair here. She like, it was like a short one and I was like, you're literally gonna break your back if you're sitting there like <laughs> leaning over the whole time, so. Okay. Okay, so before we start the makeup, I'm gonna be putting the Dermalogica Hydra Blur Primer. Uh, Jacinda would be doing this, but her nails are giant claw-like <laughs> beings and she would poke my face. <laughs> you literally stab an eye out. In all all over my face basically. I always like trying like- clients don't like me like touching their face anyway. So that's why I've switched to all things that can be put on with brushes. Yeah, that makes sense. That's oh, I should uncross my legs like that. <laughs> oh my God, this room is a disaster because I throw everything and mostly just drop half my shit on the ground without even like, I'm like, oh, I'll get it later. You guys should see what's behind the camera over there. It's <laughs> seriously a disaster. Okay, do you start with the eyes or the face or like what, what do you, step on camera? Talk to the people. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I always start with putting, just priming the face, putting the moisturizer and all my sprays. Um, there's a lot of sprays. We're using all Kristen's makeup today. So there's a lot of products that I'm used to using that she's never heard of, that she doesn't have, that probably a lot of you haven't heard of because I was trained to do makeup professionally and for the camera. So all the products I use, they're, the regular consumer doesn't really buy them, so. Um, but they can, right? Like, yeah, you for can makeup, if they want to. Do Most of the products makeup. I buy are from Camera Ready Cosmetics. They're amazing, and if you are a professional and have a website and all of that, you can get, I think, up to forty percent off. And yeah, they have all just professional products, and that's the majority of what I use, and that's what you're going to be seeing on my channel. But for today, I was a little scared a lot of, of a lot of my products being not cruelty free, <laughs> and we got to keep it cruelty free for Kristen. <laughs> So yeah, I just start with priming the face and all of that, and then I will go in with foundation just on the eyes, and then I'll prime the eyes, do the eyeshadow, eyebrows, and then finish the rest of the face with foundation. The reason being is because when I'm doing somebody's makeup, my hands are all over them, I'm touching them, I'm pulling up their eyebrow, you know, all of that. So you don't want to put foundation on like that. I, I do the same thing with myself just because I'm used to that. Um, a lot of people do it the opposite way, and they're like, what are you doing? All my clients are like, why are you, this is like what I do last. Why are you doing this first and blah, blah, blah. But you just kind of learn how to do things professionally. That's the way that I do it. Um, and then also with all the fallout with eyeshadows. I was about to say, the bitches don't, don't wear enough makeup then because when I yeah. come up in here, I'm like taking like a paint roller and just like, you know, <laughs> and then it's there, there's all this fallout and it just like hurts my soul to see that fall onto my foundation. Yes. Okay, so I'm starting with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one I actually do use on clients. I don't use um, the Serene Greens. I forgot which one I use, but. Um, There's like a few of them. Nicole, that was my friend Nicole Concilio's uh, collaboration with Smashbox. Oh, really? So I keep it on my front desk up here. Oh, that's awesome. 
And then this guy, I usually use this one um, last, but Kristen has the version that is prep and set, so we're gonna go ahead and try this one too. It smells so good. Mmm. It's my uh, code for 10% off Morphe. It's just Kristen, thanks. <laughs> So what kind of eye look are we doing today? She's gonna do a classic bridal, is that what you're thinking? Yeah, so we're not, I don't really wanna use just like neutral, neutral colors on Kristen because she's Kristen. Um, but I am gonna do the like just classic bridal look where it's kind of like a cut crease where it's like light um, shimmer or whatever like on the inner corner and then darker on the outside. But you don't go as dramatic on brides as to actually do a cut crease. It's just kind of that, that kind of style without being so dramatic is really the classic bridal look. I've like never done that, so let's let's try it out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is like perfect for down here. This is like almost perfect for up here. <laughs> well, I just match my body because this gets covered anyway. Yeah. So whatever you think, but I have a high shirt on, so if it doesn't match, then no one will know. It's so silent. Watch my stomach just like be like. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. And it's really quiet. You've done people's makeup before, right? Not really. <laughs> I've done my friend Alicia's makeup, but I just get stressed out because I don't, I'm not super experienced with doing other people's makeup. So like mm -hmm. when someone has a different kind of eye shape or something like that, like, I mean, I watch YouTube videos, like I kind of know what to do in theory, but practicing it is a different thing. Yeah. Normally I'm not scared, but on you I'm kind of scared. It's like, this is fucking Kristen Leanne. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not that special, but thank you. It's so kind of scary. <laughs> she used the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in shade Snow. I don't know when I stopped recording, so. And then we also used the Huda Beauty um, Pound Cake Setting Powder on the eyes, and now she's gonna do my brows. It's in this room, conveniently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so loud. It's gonna be loud the entire time. I haven't eaten breakfast. It's like, what are you doing? So after brows, I'm just going back in and making sure that her eyes didn't crease at all. Sometimes even when you put primer on, the eyes will still crease a little bit until you get actual eyeshadow on. I don't know what the deal with that is. Maybe just, you know, more powder on it when you're doing the eyeshadow still just makes that difference. So I always go back in and make sure that it's not creased at all. This is the 35V palette. Have you ever done someone's makeup when they're laying down, you know? No, but I had, um, a mother of the bride that had, I don't, I don't remember what that you know, like illness is called or whatever it is, but like where they just like keep kind of falling asleep and she her head just keep- Narcolepsy? Like, yeah. Yeah. And she just like kept going down like that. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> oh no. I didn't really understand what it was when I was in the middle of it. So like it kind of scared me. I'm surprised <laughs> they didn't tell you. Yeah. I would be a little concerned. This is like a thing that you need to put on. This is like the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Like you have to put this on with like your finger. It's kind of yeah, like creamy. I'm gonna like poke this shit out of her with my nails. Yeah. <laughs> so normally clients are gonna want it, aren't gonna want to go like this glam, but once again, it's Kristen. So <laughs> like classic bridal look, but like just a little bit more glam than normal. A little punch up. What's your worst story with, with a bride? Oh God. What if she sees this video? <laughs> Don't say any names. Oh, this girl was like, it was like the beginning of making me hate my job. <laughs> oh, no. It's just, you have to realize that there's some people that you just can't make happy. And uh, I know you. that, we know that, right? <laughs> not everyone's gonna, like you could be the sweetest peach in the bunch, but there's gonna be someone that doesn't like peaches. So anyways. But yeah, this girl just, um, she didn't know what she wanted to begin with. So I'm just, you know, doing super classic bridal with neutral colors because that pretty much fits everybody if they don't know what they want. If they don't know anything about makeup, you just do simple stuff and then they're happy. But this girl didn't know what she wanted, but 
anything that I did was not good enough for her. But then it's like, just just tell me what you want. Give me some direction. I can do anything you want, but right. tell me. <laughs> you yeah, know, like I want to make photos. you happy. Yeah. You should almost require people to have like some like little Pinterest board of like looks that they like. Yeah. So that you, cause you're like, then you could just be like, well, this is exactly what you wanted. I could do nothing right in her eyes, and she's just yelling at me. And then she has this other girl she that's there. She was yelling at yeah, you? she's just literally yelling at me with, like, all of her family and everybody in the room. That and is I'm, so rude. Yeah, and I'm just, like, trying to fix it for her to make her happy, and nothing I do works. And, like, she looks good. And everybody is, like, telling her she looks good, but then... She, like, has her one makeup friend in the room. Like, her makeup friend. Everybody's got their makeup I hope this friend. bitch is watching. Don't <laughs> talk to people like that and don't yell at people that are trying to make you happy. That is so rude. Ew. I would slap yeah. you. I'd be like, get out! Wait, this is your house. I'm leaving. <laughs> What do you think about that applicator? Doesn't bother me. I kind of like it. I I prefer that rather than squeezing out foundation mm -hmm. and having to like pick it up with a brush. I don't think I've ever used that concealer. Really? Mm -mm. I don't know what I'm saying. I haven't used it until we went to that thing, so. <laughs> well, I've had it. That's probably why you're surprised because I've got yeah. it here. I just don't know if I've ever used it. It got put in my foundation drawer, so. So for JC's uh, channel, let us know in the comments below like what you guys want to see, like what like what type of people and like eye shapes and things like that like you'd want to see on her channel, because you need some video inspo, yeah. Yeah. And and if y'all live in San Diego and want to come film with her, I didn't even like talk to her about this beforehand, so I think it's okay. But <laughs> totally <laughs> she's fine. Want, she's gonna <laughs> want to do makeup on different types of, you know face shapes, eye shapes, etc. So that could be really cool for her channel. Ooh, the color pop. Is that color pop or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna contour with color pop. Oh yeah, contour that double chin out. Get me. <laughs> I'm just like, when I blend this out, is this gonna be a disaster? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that stuff dries somewhat quickly, um, so I would work work somewhat fast. Do you change up your routine at all when you're doing like a more mature bride? Overall, it's the same routine. It's just um, with more mature brides, it'll be like you'll leave out some products sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, usually, you know, like less glitter, no highlight. Mm -hmm. It'll bring out the wrinkles. For blush, she's gonna use the blush trio, trio de blush, uh, pop of rose. This is a Morphe palette. It's kind of cool because it has like a highlight kind of a glit, like it's like a glowy blush um, in there. And I usually will use this one for like bronzing. It's usually a little more on the bronzy side, but these are, I like this, these tones a lot. And I like that you can do a lot of different things with the different shades and, you know, finish that they have. What blush do you like to use? Uh, Becca. Mm. Searching for that, but I can't find it in here. I literally have no Becca blush at all. Really? They don't really send me a whole lot of stuff and I just have never really been drawn to it in the store, but maybe I'll check it out since you said that. And then for highlight, I'm gonna go in with the James Charles with this one and then this white one up here. I do wish Morphe palettes had the names of the eyeshadows in there. Mm -hmm. So you can reference it, especially like if you're, you know, you, you're you doing a makeup look and it's just a photo, you can't be like, oh, I use this shade out of, you know, cause they typically have tons of shades in there, which is one of the things I love about Morphe palettes, but it's also annoying because you can't reference the shade that you use. You can mm -hmm. just be like, oh, James Charles palette. And you just, well, if well, you're recreating, you have the name it on it on that film that was on there, but you're not gonna keep Who's that. Who's gonna keep that? I guess I could tape it up above, but I, I don't have time for that. All right, mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This one is my favorite. Close your eyes. So you just do that and then lift their eyelids so that the lashes lift. And you just go in like this. Just wiggle, wiggle, and then flick. And when you do that, it also gets their bottom lashes as well. I got these lashes in the mail. These are called Be Cause. Um, and they're synthetic. They're cruelty-free 3D faux mink lashes. 
you put those on like a champ. Like, how did you do that? That's what I do. That was so (laughs) quick. Years of practice. Wow. I can't even put them on myself that quick. They're so pretty, too. (laughs) They do look really nice. But around here, we overdraw. Yeah, you want to do your own... I'll do the layer. Yeah, I'll do the layer. Okay. (laughs) I actually usually make clients do their own lips to begin with, um, just because they're going to have to reapply when I'm gone anyway. Yeah. And lips are so hard to do, so I'm kind of just like... You do this by yourself. <laughs> yeah. You have a good shape, too. Like, I wish I had that shape. Like, mine really? are way more pointy. I wish pointy. I had yours. What? <laughs> mine are so pointy, like little teepees. Like, I hate that. Dude, who is this? Someone is going crazy. Oh, it's Amazon. It's like, bitch, you ordered like 12 packages. They're all delivered. <laughs> good. I think that's good. Now you're gonna do my hair? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Absolutely not. This looks so good. I'm ready for a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, to finish off the Morphe setting spray again. Normally I'll use this guy with uh, Moran Barrier Spray as well as um, Ben Nye setting spray. And sometimes we'll put a little bit more of the, did we talk about Alco and Stop the Sweat yet? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. So one of my holy grail products with brides and just doing my own makeup, I didn't bring it today because we're using all of Kristen's, but um, what I swear by to make your makeup last all day is Alcone, Stop the Sweat, as well as Moran um, Skin Prep Pro. Um, I put both of those into spray bottles and I put that on before anything else. And the trick is, especially with the Alco and Stop the Sweat, you need to put it underneath everything else. Otherwise it'll, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it doesn't make your makeup look good. It has to be under everything else, which helps delay sweat, which is really- Like before sweating. you prime? Mm-hmm. Before you prime and everything? You know, sweat and oil is really what is gonna, you know, make your makeup wear and make it look like crap by the end of the day. So putting that on first helps to delay all that and then you definitely wanna put like your moisturizer. You can put your moisturizer on before that but I would put a little bit on top of that just so um, that product doesn't do what it, how shitty it gets if you (laughs) put it on top of everything else, yes. What do you guys think? I love this, I think it looks really good. I love it. The highlight (laughs) looks so good. Yeah, you need to start using the James Charles palette for that. I guess so. I haven't had time. Like, I there's just so many new palettes. Like, I feel like they're just all being like shipped over to me, and I'm like, I don't know what to use. I don't know what to use. So, you guys can always tell me if you guys have palettes that you want you want to see used because I I never really know what to use or what to try. So this is my better side. I don't know why I was on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I really like how you did like the glitter that's like kind of like a soft crease, like not just like a straight up cut crease. Cause mm-hmm. I always get so stressed out doing cut creases. Um, and so if I'm like in a hurry and I want something that is like still cut crease kind of looking like this is a good solution yeah. for that. Yeah, okay, now I need to do my hair to match this like beautiful makeup. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and got some ticks. T- ticks? Tip, definitely don't get ticks. Tips and tricks on how to do uh, some easy, beautiful bridal makeup. Um, I don't know about easy, like it was easy for me. I just sat here, but it's not hard. I felt like it was easy for you too. Um, You guys definitely go check out Jacinda's channel. I'm going to leave it linked in the description box below. Subscribe, Uh, she will be putting up video content very soon and that will hopefully help all of you. And don't forget to leave your uh, suggestions below of like what you'd like to see, like what do you struggle with? What kind of um, eye shapes you have, et cetera. Like what what do you wanna see more of? Leave it in the comments below so she can pull from that to create videos. And if you live in the San Diego area, you can leave your information below, let us know. And uh, she can do your makeup because I mean, (laughs) <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for doing our makeup. Of course. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.